Top of the morning, y'all see me, y'all see the book. Emotions, huh? So, you know, y'all know how I get out. Pray, do this thing, talk to me, I listen, I speak back. So, we're going to make this look clear. Your emotions will get you in God's way. I want y'all to slow down and think about this for a second. Your emotions are not your analytical thinking. So, your emotions are just a feeling that comes over you and disturbs you. Okay, this is what he showed me. He said, now think about this. He said, what if Jesus had been emotional? Nobody ever questioned that, but I had to think about what he was saying realistically. He said, because you remember the Pharisees kept trying to trap him up, right? So dig this. So when they come to Jesus and be like, uh, so, um, so who do you pay tribute to? Now, had he been emotional, he'd be like, my father, who y'all think I pay tribute to? Why y'all tripping? Why y'all asking me these questions? Y'all know who I'm here to represent. Stop going with the shenanigans, my guy, move around. That's what he could, that's how Jesus could have been with him. But instead, he said, render unto Caesar for the scissors, render to God what is God's. He never once let his emotions take over. When he was 12, he was a shorty, little buddy, he in the temple. He asking them questions, and they answer him, but the thing is, he knows the answers already. So he could, his emotions could have took over like, look, man, look, I'm God in the flesh. I hear what y'all saying, but y'all wrong, bro. Y'all out of pocket. Y'all can't be doing this. Y'all stop playing me like that. This is what God told me. This is what he sent me to do. But he didn't do none of that. If his emotions had been overseeing everything, imagine when Peter denied him. Think about that. That's your man. It's your right hand. Pots and pans. Now like four flat tires on the pickup. You and Peter running it up. Now all of a sudden your man don't know you. Had he been emotional, he'd have been like, so you just going to stand there like you don't know me? You look like you ain't you going with me? We didn't do this together? We, we went down like that? Had his emotions taken over. All I'm saying is this. Your emotions, what he showed me personally, I can't speak for y'all, I speak for me. Your emotions can get you in the way of God's plan for you. Your emotions can slow down your blessing. I ain't saying it's going to stop them, but it'll slow you down. Because you won't move into the place or be presented the way God wants you to be presented because some effect, your emotions take over. Because I've had incidents with cats, I, I expect, thank you Lord, thank you Jesus. I expected something that I shouldn't have. With this book, perfect example. Two, three years ago, I come out with the book. I expected my homeboys, cats that I knew, or I'm like, they thinking they're going to show me love, they're going to purchase books. The ones who I thought would purchase books, or I expected to purchase books, they didn't. And for a moment, it bothered me emotionally, but then I had to sit back and think about God. I'm like, the people who I want to be blessed with, who really going to listen to what's said in the book, because I get it, I bless you to say it. I'm going to be one to say it. So it ain't moved like I wanted to, but it's coming to fruition because... I'm not going to stop praying. I'm not going to stop fast. I'm not going to keep, keep singing God. But what I am going to do, I'm going to keep my emotions out the way because my emotions will hinder me. Now, I'm not saying you can't be emotional sometimes with your kids, with your grandkids, with your loved ones. That's a personal thing. But when it comes to the giftings of God and his blessings, when it's talking about this agape joint, that up and down, you and him, you know, bam, pots and pads, you and the Lord doing your thing like me and him do. We conversate on a perpetual basis. Hey, push your emotions to the side and really pay attention to God because... Your emotions will block your hearing of your blessings. So it's your boy. It's the book. Grab your copy. Holla at me. <clears throat> Peace.